श्री पराशक्ति विद्यालय सी बी एस ई क्लास सेवेंथ सब्जेक्ट बायोलॉजी टू ऑल टूडे सेशन यू ऑलरेडी स्टडी डाइजेशन इन ह्यूमन बकल कैविटी द फोर टाइप्स ऑफ टीथ दैन स्टार्च डाइजेशन इन द बकल कैविटीज टूडे सेशन वी गोज टू ये इसोफागस स्टोमक स्मॉल इंडस्ट्रेन लार्ज इंडस्ट्रेन एंड ऑलसो एनस ओके या फर्स्ट यू सी द इसोफागस इसोफागस इज अनदर वन नेम फुट पाइप ओके या इसोफागस इज अनदर वन नेम फुट पाइप इट इज ये लॉन्ग ट्यूब लाइक स्ट्रक्चर्स ओके द टंग पुशस द चूड फूड इन टू द शॉर्ट मस्कुलर ट्यूब कॉल द फैरिंग्स फ्रॉम द फैरिंग्स द फूड गोज इन टू ये लॉन्ग एंड narrow muscular tube called esophagus okay yeah then the muscular tube is called esophagus esophagus carries the slightly digested food because the carbohydrate are act to saliva and partially digested the food okay food from the mouth to the stomach through the peristalsis movement of the muscles of the esophagus बकल कैविटी इसोफागस् वलिया अभी एप्ली मूवमेंट आगदना पेरीस्टाली और मूवमेंट मूल्यम इोड़ पेरीस्टाली मूवमेंट वो वनली फ्रंट अपर पार्टल लोयर पार्ट की इट गोस् वनली स्टम वनली वन वे ओके दैजन आफ फुट डस्ना टेक् प्ले इन दिसोफागस् place okay yeah next is stomach the stomach is a j shaped thick walled organ on the left side of the abdomen okay left side of the abdomen and a j shaped then the wall is thick okay it is the widest part of the alimentary canal it is the widest part of the alimentary canal It's a sac-like structures. The food is further digested in the stomach. The food is churned in the stomach for about three hours. During this time, the food breaks down into smaller pieces and makes a semi-solid paste. The inner lining of stomach secrete mucus. Then second one, hydrochloric acid. and also some other digestive juices like pepsin okay yeah three one secretion in stomach mucus hydrochloric acid digestive juices okay the first one hydrochloric acid hydrochloric acid kills many harmful bacteria that enter with the food and make the acidic medium in the stomach okay yeah it kills the harmful bacteria that enter the food and makes the acidic medium in the stomach then the mucus the mucus protect the lining of the stomach from the action of hydrochloric acid the hydrochloric acid is one of the important acid the, this acid is damaged to the stomach inner line so that the mucus protect the inner line of the stomach from the action of hydrochloric acid okay in the acidic medium pepsin digests the protein in the food to form simple soluble substance called peptones the partially digested food then goes from the stomach into small intestine okay yeah you do you know that sometime we vomit food for what reason this happen when your stomach reject the food we have eaten the anti peristaltic movement of the stomach wall and the esophagus push the food up to the food pipe okay ya yeah. appo vomiting nama saapidum bodu vomiting yen yerpadudengiradhu unakku therinjikkanum okay appo stomach reject the food we have eaten the anti peristaltic movement at that time the anti peristaltic movement is react to the food pipe then the stomach wall and the esophagus push the food up to the food pipe okay 
the small then you goes to a small intestine okay yeah then you goes to a small intestine in the stomach the proteins are digestion okay yeah the digestive juices digest proteins in stomach only then we goes to small intestine the small intestine is the large part of a alimentary canal you know that of the it is about 7.5 meters long the length is 7.5 meters and arranged in the form of a coil a tightly coiled shape the small intestine in human begins the site of complete digestion of food also the absorption of uh, digested food takes place in the small intestine okay yeah. the small intestine receives secretion from two glands the first one liver and the pancreas through a common duct then in stomach hydrochloric acid mucus and peptin digestion juices are secretion in small intestine we receive the two glands the liver and the pancreas okay yeah. the that is called intestinal liver first you see liver it is the large gland in the stomach or body it is secrete bile juice which is stored in a sac called gallbladder large gland in the stomach it is secrete the bile juice it is the liver secrete pandra juice so the name bile juice but it is stored gallbladder okay yeah. this fats are digested with the help of bile juice fat is digested with the help of bile juice fat are present as big droplets in the food because of which they cannot be digested easily but the bile juice break these big droplets into small droplets and make their digestion okay then pancreas pancreas secrete pancreatic juice bile juice is a by gallbladder and it is stored in the sac like structure gallbladder liver secrete bile juice and is stored in gallbladder it breaken down the fat nutrients okay yeah. then pancreas it is secrete pancreatic juice break down fats completely into fatty acid and glycerol it is like it break down fats completely it break down fat completely in the pancreatic juice the pancreatic juice changes the fat into fatty acid and also glycerol pancreatic juice also break down starch carbohydrate and protein into simpler form okay next intestinal juice the partially digested food now reaches the lower part of the small intestine the walls of the small intestine secrete the digestive juices called intestinal juice the juice break down the starch carbohydrate completely into the simplest sugar called glucose and protein into amino acid the minerals and vitamins present in the food do not need to be changed cell are capable to absorb them as they are okay yeah. next absorption in small intestine what's that meaning absorption absorption means the is one of the process okay it's one of the process the process of absorption occurs in the small intestine this happens as follows the inner surface of the small intestine has millions of a tiny finger like outgrowth called villi okay yeah a tiny finger like outgrowth is called villi villus is a singular form okay the presence of villi give gives the inner walls of the small intestine and a very large surface area which helps the rapid absorption of food okay yeah the villi helps a rapid absorption of food thus the role of the villi in 
the small intestine is to increase the surface